Hello everybody, today I will show you how you can use video previewer in Rapper Offline 1.2 or 3. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to this link in the description and then for the preview folder you're gonna double click on the preview folder. Go click on the drop down right there and then you'll click on download. Straight forward to zip. Then we download. Next up, what you're going to do is you're going to open up this. You're going to select the preview folder. You're going to copy it with either CTLC. Yeah, just use CTLC and copy. Because I don't know anything else. So then, you're going to head over to the download. Head over to your lab offline folder. Go to the lab folder. And then paste the preview folder in there. Vega was in there. So now what I want you to do is I want you to download the preview server folder. So you would click on a drop down and then click on a download right there. Then it goes downloading. Next go open up the preview server file. Go open up the zip, double click that. Go open this up using notepad, and then copy these using CTLC or something. And then head over to your files again. Go into the wrapper offline folder once again. Go into the wrapper folder again. Then go to the server folder. So now go to the server file. Then you'll paste my code in there. So click enter and then paste them in there. And then the functions just do P or L P L S. You want to follow all this, but if you don't, this will not work for you. So then, you're going to click on File over here, and then click Save. Then, you're going to download my previous static folder using the same method. Right now, you're going to click on the info.json file. Then, you will copy the pages section, but there will be some changes that you need to do so that this will not break your wrapper. Yep, just head into the wrapper off my folder again, head to the wrapper. Nope, not in utilities. Tell the wrapper. Static and info.json. Scroll over right down. And then just pretty much paste what we've copied. It's it's basically the same thing. Let's copy that. And then paste this in there. And that should make your video preview work. Just delete the rest of this. No, just delete the studio thing. Just delete that. Since that's not needed. That's only needed if you're like using something old. But just keep the CC and preview window path in there. And then just click on save. Then, you are going to extract the previous static folder. You're going to extract that. Now that I've extracted, just head over to the 
page.js file. You have an old gram of a school header on top, just pretty much copy the whole thing. I'll put all this in my GitHub domain, so that way you all do not have to worry about something missing. Wait, I, I pretty much won't be, because that might break it. So you'll just go to the page of this file, and then copy this path. X out, above line, wrapper, static, page. Yeah, you want to do that, because we don't, this will not work. Then just delete this going to the school's remastered lines and just leave it as for your previewer. Then, you go to the file again, you click save. And don't envision break wrapper off one, not at all. Because then you click on start wrapper. You see, this should this should break it. So that's one reason why local host isn't connecting because the npm hasn't started. So just wait, just wait for it to start. Oh, there's a syntax error. Oh, uh, let me fix that. Let me fix that real quick. I don't, I don't even know what that syntax error was. ASU. I'm just going to change it to ADU to see what happens. No, no, just ADV to see what happens. Oh, yeah, I know why, because... Hold on, am I in a correct folder? Let's see if we are correct. Otherwise, things could go really wrong. Ah, uh -huh, I know why, because we didn't do... My bad, folks. I'm sorry, my bad. It's supposed to put that, it's supposed to put that comment after that please thing you just pasted. Shouldn't do anything now. It really shouldn't. There you go. I brought fine started. Just reload it. Oh yeah, sorry. Uh, my thing zoomed out. Let me change it to a hundred. Now when you make a video, your preview should work. In your style, no matter what. Hold on, guys, I may have broke something. Oh, no, I didn't. 
I think it just starts very good for the joy. That's quite normal. It's okay to fix that. You just go ahead. You're just go, you're just going in a notepad, and then putting another display thing on there. I know why this. That's because this thing is on for display function. So let me fix that. Let me teach you how you can fix that. Just so just head over to the info dot json, like file. Head over to the thing you just pasted, and then just put in the never. See, so just put in never. That's why. Just click save. And then just head over to the folder and get click on the starter pad. I'm not the toy shouldn't just wait anymore. Yeah, there you go, that definitely fixed it. About the preview with Rob Offline Header, I'll do something about that. But for right now, just enjoy your new preview. Just enjoy. And do this brings a fix to the voices as well. I found out what was going on. So I basically just did some fixing. Let me show you. So basically, I'm going to put myself in. We're going to do our dialogue. What's what you want to do with Kendra voice? Yes, that's voice forge. We'll just say, you are grounded. You are grounded. My bad. You will click on preview again. See that? The voices work. You want the mouth moving and you want all that working. And the main reason why I don't do that is there's no movie ID inserted. Well now there is. The API has to be synced up too so that this thing, whole thing works. Yeah, so that this whole thing works. You have to have a client store and animation path stored in there. So that way this will work. You are grounded. Let's see, there you go, so that you can have your full screen, like, preview, if you want it. You can make a full screen, too, by adding that LV, by, by adding that full screen. Let me show you how you can do that. So, basically, just click, just double-click the wrapper, folder, page, and then go into the player, like, folder, just go into the player. Okay, they don't allow full screen. They don't, they don't allow it. Let me show you how you can allow it. So basically, just click enter on the notepad. Do allow full screen. If I'm even correct. Nope. True. <sighs> oh yeah, just do that. Do the same for... Like... And just do the same for... The preview window as well, if you want it. So this is some extra stuff, so you can click off this fail if you want to. If you have a preview working, just click off this fail. If you listen carefully, then good. Just 
Just click on the um, start wrapper thing. Could, yep, we're loading the wrapper photo again. I guess the reason why I removed the header since the header was too small for my computer to fit the slip. So I removed it. If you want to know how I did that, JavaScript coding, I'm good at. Let me just click on that preview thing again. And boom, you got your full screen back. I guess I was correct. So it's in order to allow full screen, yep, I, I got it correct. I, I identified it. So yep, I'm correct. So that's there you go, you have your full screen back along with preview voices. Save. Type in whatever. Save and close. Play. Okay, that also didn't do a... Hold up. Play. Full screen. Even though there's no replay button on it, I'll, I will make a feature on that. Just like a preview, I'll make that feature. So yeah, folks, I'm signing off now, and it's nice talking to you.